Welcome to the Media Box, where I'm joined first of all by uh, Peggy Polonis of the American Community Schools of Athens uh, in Greece. You're here in Strasbourg at Pace uh, for a hearing, uh, which is not unusual, but you're here in slightly unusual circumstances. Tell us about that. Well, we came here because at our school we have been developing the idea of incorporating artificial intelligence in the curriculum from a young age, from kindergarten actually. And uh, having done that, it culminates into various projects. And one of these projects we'll talk about in a, in a minute, but I strongly believe that AI, in order to really alleviate the fears that um, people have about AI taking over, we really need to develop mindsets in young people, ethical mindsets. And so AI goes in conjunction with what we call conscious citizenship, helping students position themselves to basically uh, improve life and living on the planet through these tools, AI tools, uh, using an ethical mindset to do that. And uh, that culminated in this project that uh, Adrianos and a team of students worked on. Uh, and this is Nikki, the robot that has come as a result of that, who is not only, they not only built the robot, but incorporated AI so that she can speak and respond to various questions. And she's in the process of being developed, so there's more to come, but here, here she is, and we came to put this out for the council, because I believe that schools should consider this idea of developing and of teaching AI and conscious citizenship in schools. Nikki doesn't look very active right now. What happened? She had an injury. She actually broke on her way here on the plane. It's a shame. Maybe it shows just how human she is. We do have some footage, however, of Nikki in full working order. I am a product of technology, but technology does not always work perfectly. That is true. Why don't you introduce yourself? It would be my pleasure. I am a humanoid robot which combines artificial intelligence in the form of computer vision speech recognition, and also use Internet of Things. Nikki, in full working order there with student uh, Adrianos. Adrianos, tell us more about her. Thank you. Uh, well, I started Nikki uh, around three years ago and then built it alongside with invited other students to join as well. We built Nikki with the open source project called InMove Robot, designed by the French designer and sculptor Gaël Langevin. We chose Nikki as we wanted to create a project that would utilize the ubiquitous and powerful technologies of the fourth industrial revolution. And alongside that, having a, a project that is human, human shaped. For example, we could have chosen a car, but the importance is human shaped. Having a human face to inspire others not to be afraid of these technologies and use them. Because afterwards, you get to use them, you, you understand almost everything. Uh, it is part of um, a vision that I've had from a young age to want to make the world a better place and resulted in also I mean, inspiring the AI lab in our school, where we emphasize hands-on experience. And we need hands-on experience in a school lab because there are two main benefits, especially with artificial intelligence. The first is the students get to learn and explore the unknown black box hiding the math behind AI algorithms. They get to learn how these algorithms work and create their own based on a solution they want to give. And the second is that they do it ethically, as Dr. Pallone said, and being conscious citizens. And that's why we have a fusion of both in our school. AI hands-on and ethics, a combination of both, create, for students to create larger scaled projects that will have a more powerful impact. Okay, and Nikki's uh, not making me that frightened about the robots taking over just yet. So Adrianos <laughs> and Peggy, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you Thank very you. much.